Hey Art Smarties, for today's art lesson, we are going to be doing gestural or figurative drawing and sculpture. So for this project, you're gonna need some white paper, a marker, preferably a Sharpie if you have one, a straw, scissors, and aluminum foil. Gesture drawing or figure drawing is often used by artists to show movement. Painter Edgar Degas paints ballerinas and dancers. However, underneath his elaborate paintings are simple gesture drawings that he uses as a basis for his painting. Sculptor Alberto Giacometti is also an artist that is interested in movement. He has many sculptures showing walking and movements of different people. The first part of this lesson will be a review for my first grade students, but it will be new for my kindergartners. A gesture or a figure drawing is a very quick drawing using circles and ovals to make a body. And it doesn't just show any body. It is a quick drawing, again, just using circles and ovals to show movements and what a body is doing. If you um, are a first grader, you'll remember that we call this type of a figure Mr. Egghead because it starts with an egg-shaped oval for his head and then we use circles and ovals for his body. It's a pattern for his arms and legs. Hot dog oval, circle, hot dog oval, circle. The same is true for his legs. Hot dog oval, circle, hot dog oval, circle. And using those two shapes, you can make your body do absolutely any movement you want. This one, he seems to be waving. This one, he's going to be lifting weights. Hot dog oval circle, hot dog oval circle. Hot dog oval circle, hot dog oval circle. Spend as much time as you like on your paper using circles and ovals to create your Mr. Egghead gesture figure drawing. You can make your person leaping across the paper, dabbing, shooting a basketball. It's all up to you. Once you've practiced your gesture drawings, you are ready to create your figure out of the foil. You will need a grown-up to help you with this part. We're going to draw a few lines onto our piece of foil. This is a piece almost probably 24 inches long. And I'm going to draw a diagonal line at the top and the other side. And I'm dividing these areas up. This part will be the head. This will be the arm. Z. <laughs> this middle part here will be the torso. The torso is like the middle of your body, kind of where your belly and your heart and all that is. And then I'm gonna draw one more line on the bottom so that this part will be a leg and this will be the other leg. Now, very, very carefully, you're going to cut each section. Now my foil has been cut on each of the lines. I'm going to start with one of the legs and I'm gonna use the straw just to give it a little more strength so that it is stronger. I'm going to take the straw and roll it inward. And you can crunch and 
scrunch <laughs> your foil as much as you need around that. And I'm just going to roll in until I get to the end of my cut here. Notice it is not cut to the center. And then I'm going to scrunch the rest of my foil over to meet that leg. Okay, so I have one leg. I can bend the bottom of it if I wanna create a foot. This would be a good opportunity to look at your drawings that you made and decide maybe what type of position or gestural movement that you want your sculpture to be doing. I'm gonna go ahead and scrunch up the other leg. I'm only using the one straw and I am being very careful to go slowly so that my foil doesn't rip. But if I accidentally do rip it, we can always just get more foil and add onto it. Tin foil or aluminum foil stays together pretty well that way. Okay, so now I have two legs. You can see, look at, I can bend. If I want them to be kicking or walking. There I've scrunched up the bottom to make a little foot, okay? <clears throat> when I work on the arms, I'm gonna roll down from the top And then I might need to tear a little bit and that's fine. Again, I'm gonna scrunch it together and I can start bending. Here's arm number two. I like thinking about what kind of activity or movement that I'm gonna have my figure doing. And then for the head, you can see I have the torso here. I'm just gonna kind of scrunch his belly together. He's gonna be a pretty thin guy. And then for my head, I'm just gonna crumple it into a book. And there we go. Now, if you want, you can start immediately deciding what kind of movement do you want him to do. Or her, here's a ballerina pose. Oh, let's get those arms up over the head. I could also, if you're interested in trying to get your person to stand, you can take a smaller piece of foil Crunch it around one of his or her feet. And have your person stand up. I hope you have fun.